update. I waited until this morning at 1 83. So, it's currently where I'm sitting at. Yo, what's good, everyone? Hope you guys are having a marvelous day on this mighty fine evening. I just want to break down to you guys how I'm doing my current lean bulk. So I'm going to explain this over the shoulder workout that went down in this video. So hopefully you enjoy that while I'm doing this voiceover. So this is how I'm doing this current lean bulk. My plan is to keep my aesthetics, keep the shreds while putting on quality muscle. So how am I doing that? I'm eating slightly over my maintenance calories while focusing on increasing my strength. Because if I know that, if my strength is going up, my muscle is going up. And that works in reverse as well. If you're cutting and your strength is going down, you're losing muscle. So that works both ways. That's a good component, a good measure to see your progression. Next point is, how am I focusing on my strength? If you're following me on Instagram, you already know the vibes, you know the drill. If you're not, it's at Marco Trunzo. You know, go like two photos, hit that follow button, I'm going to send the DMs, quick things, you know the vibes, just playing. But this is how we're doing it. The motto is... If you're not tracking, you're slacking. And what I mean by that is, you're tracking your workouts to progress and increase and in competing into your own performance that you did the week prior. So for example, let's say you did 80 pound dumbbell shoulder press for four reps last week. This week you're going for 80 pound dumbbell shoulder press for five reps. Or you're doing 80 pound or 85 pound dumbbell shoulder press for four reps. The main three components that you're trying to progress in is either more weight, more reps, or better form. Those are the big three components to progressive overload. And progressive overload is just a fancy word for increasing your muscle, increasing muscle mass. So what that means is you're progressively, gradually overloading the muscle with more and more weight, which results in hypertrophy, which results in just in layman's term, making some gains, you know what I'm saying? So, main thing is, Track those workouts focused on increasing the strength in those big compound lifts. For example, your dead, your squat, your bench, the ones that require these multiple joints and multiple muscle groups. Increase the strength in that, and you'll be getting some quality muscle. So, next clip you're about to see is, is the physique update. Hope you guys enjoy that. This bulk's been going good. If you want to see my supplement stack, I'll drop that in another video too, but enjoy the physique update. You know what time it is right now. This is for all the haters out there. For everyone that's been roasting me in the comment section, saying, I look small. All this guy trains abs, or the only thing this guy lifts up is his shirt. That was a pretty funny comment though, no lie. I got a good chuckle out of that, but this is my current physique update. Right now, it's I'm still fasting. It's 1.23. I'm dying, look at that notification at the top. World of Warcraft, but live on Twitch. You know, I'm a big gamer, but either way, this is the current physique update. I weighed in this morning at 1.83. So, it's currently where I'm sitting at. Still fasting. One thing as well is, I need to get my bodybuilding poses down because I don't, I don't really, uh, not that I don't compete, is I want to learn these poses because the thing with your posing is, it's all angles. Everything is all about them angles. You make yourself look bigger, you, you kind of, it's an illusion. You're making yourself really look bigger than you actually are with the proper posing, proper angles, proper whatever, you know? So, I can't really do a full back to a body here. I don't know if, Probably looking weak. Yeah, bro. I, that's one, one thing I got to work on is my poses. But last thing I'm going to say is, people in the fitness industry, in the fitness industry, especially people that are watching other YouTubers or whatever, have a big misconception of what they think your body should look like. You can't really be comparing your body to people that are on steroids. Unless you actually are on steroids. But me personally, I'm on natural everything, dog, you know? With the hair, with the fresh fade, but I'm on natural everything. So you compare me to people that are on steroids, I know that is an unmaintainable look naturally, so I'm not gonna try and chase that. I used to try and chase that back in the day when I was unaware of that, but most people in the industry are on supplements that you can't buy from your local supplement store, so get that out of your head, the perception of you wanna be the biggest guy in the gym, the biggest mass muscle, because that is unattainable naturally. I'm going for that aesthetic look, you know? Girls don't flock to those biggest men in the gym. That looks good for another man, another guy admires that, say, yo, that looks good, but when you're, when you're on all these steroid pimples everywhere, back knee, all this dust shit, bro, like, that's counterproductive. You're taking one step back. No, no, you're taking one step forward and two steps back when you're doing that. So, figure out why you do it. I'm not trying to be Mr. Limp. I'm not trying to be no big impeders. I don't care about juice. I just want to look good. I want to feel good. And with that, you're going to do good. When you're going to do good, you're going to get paid good. So, 
that's the vibes, look and feel good, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know the drill. Spam the like button, comment whatever you want to say. If you're gonna apply for online coach on my website, and check one of the next one. Ciao fam. All you haters out there. You Myron dog? You Myron dog? Yeah, I got no space here. I'm too big. I gotta walk the doorway sideways, you know? So, peace.